I want to introduce you to somebody on screen, okay? I'm going to show you a picture of somebody who's very special to our family. On screen, you should see Pepper, okay? Pepper is Rory and Vinny's granny's dog. Isn't she cute? She's very cute, isn't she? Now, Pepper is a rescue dog. Now, that means that she was rescued from people who didn't look after her very well. Either they couldn't or they just weren't very kind to her. Pepper was owned by a family who didn't look after her very well at all. So she was scared of people. Pepper had a pretty sad life at the start of her life. Maybe you've met a dog that's a bit like that, that maybe they've not been fed very well or they've never been played with or they're kept in a cage all the time. Well, Pepper, the good news is that she was rescued by Rory and Vinnie's granny. She was taken from her horrible home and a horrible old life and she was given a new home with lots of love and lots of attention. She was taken for walks, given loads of treats, lovely food. She was loved because she was rescued. Pepper learned what it was to live in her new home with her new owner. She learned what it was like to be a normal, loved, rescued dog. But imagine if when Pepper was taken from her old, horrible home, when she was taken into a new lovely home, imagine if she didn't live like she was rescued. Imagine if this lovely big house and garden that she had, that she could run around in, but she never did. She just sat in a cage all day and did nothing, being sad. Or imagine she had all this lovely food to eat, but she never ate it. She just let it go all stinky and smelly. Or imagine she had loads of toys to play with or loads of people to play with but she just ignored them. She just lay there all day being sad. Wouldn't that be a little bit strange? Pepper had this new home, this new life, but she acted just like she did before she was rescued. She, she didn't live like she was rescued at all. She didn't live enjoying her new life at all. That would be really strange, wouldn't it? Well, we said we've been looking at Paul's letter to followers of Jesus in Philippi. And we've learned lots about true happiness. True happiness is good news. True happiness is hearing good news. It's knowing Jesus. Paul now says to the Philippian Christians that true happiness is living for God. True happiness is living for God. You see, when people trust the good news of Jesus, they are rescued. They're rescued from the punishment of turning away from God. They're rescued and forgiven. They're rescued so that they can be friends with God always and forever. That's why it's such good news that we've been rescued. So Paul wants to tell the Philippians, you if you trust in Jesus, you have been rescued by God. So now you can go and live for God. Look what it says here. Look what, look what Paul writes to the Philippians. He says, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Paul says you've been rescued. So go and live like you've been rescued. Keep wanting to live to please God who's rescued you. Because that is true happiness. Living God's way is always the best way. So like you would say to Pepper, the dog, when she was rescued and she went to a new rescue family, but didn't live like she'd been rescued, you'd say, don't be silly. You've been rescued. Go and live like you've been rescued. To not live for God who's rescued us would be like being given the best gift in the world and never enjoying it. Just leaving it to get dusty. Dirty, mouldy, horrible. Look what else Paul says. Something amazing. He says, for it is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose. So live like you've been rescued because you are rescued and God will help you to do that. For it is God who works in you. He has rescued you and he keeps helping you to live like you're rescued. 
because living God's way is the best way. So Paul has told us, if we trust and follow Jesus, we are rescued. We can live like we are rescued. We can please God. And finally, as we live as rescued children of God, we shine like stars in the sky. Did any of you go camping this summer? I know one family who were camping last night. Now, the best thing about camping is the night sky. Everything is totally black, but the stars, they are so, so, so bright. It's the only thing you can see in the whole night sky. They're the brightest thing around. And Paul says, if we trust in Jesus, we're rescued. As we live like rescued people, we shine like those stars in the night sky. Everybody will see that we have been rescued by God. And everybody will see what a great rescuer God is as we live like we've been rescued. When we give away what we have to other people, when we say a kind thing instead of a nasty thing, when we live for God and we speak about him, we tell people what he's like, people see what a great God he is, what a great rescuer he is. And we live that way because he's rescued us. And our whole lives want to show that. That's what Paul wants when he writes this letter to the Philippians. Go and live like you have been rescued. To show what a great rescuer God is. You will shine like stars in the world. So as we enjoy him, as we love him, as we share the good news about him, the whole world will see what a great rescuer God is. True happiness is living for God.